Okay, so today we're going to switch from talking about um, right circular cylinders to talking about a pyramid and the volume, lateral area, and total area of a py pyramid. So the volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third the area of the base times height. So if you remember, the area of a base of a pyramid is equal to length times width times height. So for this pyramid, we have one-third our length of the base, which is 4, our width of the base, which is also 4, times the height. Now remember, this height is really important that you remember it's the height perpendicular to the center of the base. It's the one that goes, it goes up from this point to the up point on the base. So our height for this is 6. So 1 third, 4 times 4 is 16 times 6. 16 times 6 is 96. So 1 third times 96. And that actually goes in perfectly and you get V is equal to 32, and pretend this said inches, it would be 32 inches cubed, because remember, we're, in, we're talking about volume, and volume is always a three-dimensional measurement. So, okay, so now we're going to talk about lateral area. Now, our lateral area is equal to one-half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Because when we find our lateral area, we're finding everything but the area of the base. So each one of these triangles right here, we're finding the area of. So there are four triangles we're finding the area of. So we're going to take one-half the perimeter of the base, which is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 times the slant height. Now remember, the slant height is not the same as the height we use to solve volume. Our slant height is the height that is goes from the top of the pyramid down one of the triangles and is perpendicular to one side of the square. So we're told that our slant height is 7, so times 7. So our lateral area is equal to one half. Three plus three is six. Plus three is nine. Plus three is twelve. Twelve times seven. Well, one half of twelve is equal to six. So six times seven is equal to forty-two. So if this said centimeters, this would be forty-two centimeters squared. Because when we talk about area, we're always in a two-dimensional measure. And last, we have our total area. Now, when we found our lateral area, we just found the area of each one of these triangles. Now, this time, we're finding our area of this entire shape. So we're going to take our lateral area, which is 1 half the perimeter of the base times the slant height, plus our base area, which is equal to length times width. So total area of this is 1 half the perimeter of the base, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. So 1 half, 24, times our slant height, which I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right here. It's already been drawn in for us, and they tell us it's 4. So times 4 plus length times width, 6 times 6. So our total area is equal to 1 half of 24, which is 12, times 4, plus 6 times 6. So 12 times 24 is 48, plus 6 times 6 is 36. And if we add those together, we'll get 84, and pretend this said centimeters, centimeters squared, because area is always a two-dimensional measurement. So that's actually all we're going to do for pyramids today. But make sure you come back and watch our next video where we're going to talk about the right circular cone. And we actually didn't get into a lot of this into intro to geometry. So be ready to learn a lot.